Hi guys, welcome back to Yon channel Technical Sahil. In this 21st video of this playlist, we are going to integrate our last and final payment gateway, which is a uh, Bitcoin payment gateway, we can say cryptocurrency gateway. And if you remember that, I had already told you in this video that actually I have recommended PayPal, Stripe and Coinbase payment methods in this video. But now I have eliminated Coinbase and the reason for this is that I got an email from uh, Coinbase few days ago. I already integrated on one of my websites. So I got this friendly reminder that they will be discontinuing services to your above mentioned account. And when I search about it, I came to know that the wallet of Coinbase uh, would not be available in some countries, including India, because I am from India and so as my account so it's being restricted in some countries i did not go in much detail uh, but they are making limitations on the uh, on the account for some specific countries that's why i have eliminated coinbase and i'll show you about a new platform uh, and for that you will find this link uh, in the description of this video the advantage of going with this link is that uh, you get rebate on the transaction fee of whatever crypto you have like whenever a customer buys something from you uh, in crypto or if you send it to uh, your personal wallet then there uh, there is a transaction fee which is charged like there is a gas gas fee in ethereum so when you uh, you will get a discount of 20 dollar if you uh, go with this link i will open it in a new tab so the name of this platform is uh, blockonomics and here first first of all we have to create a merchant account, merchant account after clicking on this merchant we will have to click on get started for free here here we can also enter our email manually or uh, we can sign in with google so i have chosen this option sign in with google my account has been created uh, within a few seconds and you can see that whmc has open cart uh, easy digital downloads presta show wordpress at present it supports all these and its plugins or add-ons are available which you will get it for free i'll show you later but right now we have to click on this uh, whmcs and after that we uh, we have given this api key right here but we don't have to use it right now we have to click on add new store and from here as you can see that it's asking for xpub key and it's asking for a callback url so the callback url will not be available for now but right now i'll tell you the xpub key from where uh, we will get it and we can enter anything in the tag this is just a uh, remembrance this is just for our remembrance means for you to see if you have multiple stores with different different cms you will be able to see which tag uh, for your which store like i can give a whmcs a host trigger in this if i have to create an another website or store other than this uh, host trigger then i can simply uh, enter here but for now i'll show you uh, in my case i have already logged in into my uh, blockchain wallet from here if you want to integrate it with your blockchain then you uh, have to search on your profile icon and from here you have to go to the wallets and addresses and click on manage from here and here you have to make sure that you have the selected segwit segwit and from here again you have to click on manage and from here you have to click on show xpub now i have made my key hide because it means it's kind of a secret key so that no one can see it and it's also written here that you don't share your extended public key with your untrusted source so this video of mine is going to be publicly available worldwide so i have to hide it you can see that this is my in use account i have some balance over it so we have to paste this xpuff key here uh, first and after that we have to uh, got this click on uh, receive in your wallet from here we have to enter our bitcoin uh, address which we will get it uh, from here 
click on Bitcoin. For this, we need to click on receive from here. After that, we have to select uh, Duffy wallet from here and I have to copy this wallet address from here and simply paste it here. I give the tag here as WHMCS and I don't have a callback URL right now and let me show you from where we get the callback URL. For this, now we have to go to this URL. I will also give uh, this URL in the description of this video. Uh, from here, you will able to download this uh, Blockonomics WHMCS module for free. Like I clicked on this uh, get it here and there's an option appeared in front of me. I have already downloaded it. So let me extract it. And after that, I open the folder from here. And from here, I have to uh, go to the modules. Then go to these gateways and again I'll zip this uh, Blockonomics because we have to upload uh, this as it is in our cPanel. After that now we have to log into our cPanel. I have logged in into my cPanel from here. Now we have to click uh, file manager. From where from here we have to click on public html public underscore html after that we have to go to the modules and from here we have to go to the gateways folder first of all inside a callback i upload the callback file by clicking here uh, where did the folders of our go on here it is modules gateway callback and from here i upload this file and if i check our file has been uploaded and now we have to upload the file uh, here in this directory which is blockonomics.php here it is from here we have to upload it and now we have to upload the zip file itself and that has to be extracted. Both of our things has been uploaded. Now this Blockonomics name zip, uh, zip has been also come here and the PHP file is also uh, here. So we have to extract this uh, zip file. And we have to close it from here on the gateway. And once we refresh, uh, we'll see the folder in the name of Blockonomics. And now from here we can delete this zip file also. Now after this uh, we have to log into our WHMCS admin panel. And after that from here we have to go to the settings icon and click on system settings and from here you will select payment gateway and once i have confirmed my admin password now from here we'll go to the payment gateways you can see the blockonomics uh, which is not shown in the last two videos when we were integrating paypal and stripe so we'll click on uh, the uh, we'll click on it from here here we got our callback URL uh, which we have to copy it from here and paste it here. And then click on save changes from here. For one time it gives us a warning that it is converting the XPUB key to XZPUB. It doesn't matter. Let's do it. And this store of R has been uh, created from here. Uh, this is the label. This is the meaning of the label that whatever you mention will be visible to you. There is nothing, uh, no meaning here. You can write anything, but other things you have to enter, you have to provide as it is. And now here, uh, from here, you can copy this 
api key and then you have to mention the api key as it is here after that if you are uh, going to advanced settings then it is asking you to the countdown timer of the time period means for how long it's making us to wait like if a client uh, select your bitcoin payment uh, after that how much time should uh, be given to him so that he can log into his wallet and make a transaction uh, 10 minutes is absolutely fine i'll say uh, that you give the maximum time it is better because sometimes it may uh, the delay may happen the client have to first log into his wallet and he might have and and he might have enabled 2fa in his wallet so first he have to enter the otp then log in then uh, try to uh, make the transaction so these things take some time and how many minutes will you page uh, will get cancelled uh, once the it passes that time so all the, all this is asking you about extra currency rate uh, margin means like you can add a little percentage extra here it means that this option uh, these options are completely optional even if you don't want to do it anything here you can do it and these confirmations two of them are coming are recommended so yes uh, this network confirmation is important if any transactions goes through the blockchain then it will be verified through some networks first it takes time to verify through crypto transactions if you uh, have seen that before because it is a decentralized environment no government involved is sitting behind in tracking the crypto transactions for uh, doing this in on its own it requires some blockchain confirmations and will verify up to the number of networks that are transactions so those people who are mining uh, they will uh, do the verification for those transactions so leave it as uh, recommended and after that if you want to receive bitcoin cash also uh, you will get these two options bitcoin and bitcoin cash so i am currently selecting only bitcoin and in fact i'll also write bitcoin here if you want payment in bitcoin cash then you can also check it from here and select my default currency uh, as uh, usd from here and after that first uh, click on test setup you can see that our setup has been completed successfully now we can simply click on save changes from here So in this way we can integrate the Bitcoin payments on our website which will come uh, with the Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. So we can integrate it on our website and this is uh, the easiest way you must have to see that you don't need any verification over this. I have created an account in front of you and showed you everything so the payment fees uh, comes here. If you are signing up with my link then you will get a discount of 20 USD that's why I have given the link uh, in the description which is obviously my affiliate link. I will also get some credit but yes it will also uh, beneficial for you. So but the point is that in this way you can integrate the Bitcoin payment gateway on your website. So that's all uh, for now and thank you so much for watching it till the end. I'll meet you in the next video uh, so please take care of yourselves.